Hello YouTubers and uh, welcome to uh, the channel of Are You Train Man 2 and uh, this is a quick uh, video just showing you some things that I just purchased uh, I think I got the deal of the century on eBay uh, all of these jewel cases right here that you see uh, were from one person uh, one purchase they're all in scale and uh, I got them all for 25 bucks. Um, if that doesn't uh, really mean a lot to you, I'll show you what's inside them. Uh, this is the first time I've opened them, so if any of them are damaged, uh, we get to see it together. I'll just pick one random thing out of here. I'll use my X-Acto knife and open it up. Be very careful not to damage the little model that's inside. And these are all end scale. An end scale uh, international or Mac uh, roadway truck. Oh, it's like brand new. Uh, yeah, this is full of those. There's uh, Max and Ford cabovers and Atlases. Um, this one has the same thing. Uh, there's a dolly in there. There's some cargo in here. Uh, and uh, here's the dolly for the the two 28-foot uh, wedge trailers in end scale. Um, I can see through the packaging. This is an Atlas roadway truck. Uh, there's a John Deere tractor in there. Uh, some freight and stuff. Yeah, this whole thing is full of that. Uh, it also came with uh, two N-scale terminal trucks. Um, well, that one hit the floor. And uh, two more terminal trucks. Uh, I'm not going to take everything out of here because it'll just take forever, but uh, I got two of these packages of 28-foot wedge trailers from uh, from Athern and N scale and uh, for those of you who have been uh, following the stuff that's going for sale uh, these trucks are these trucks and trailers are very expensive uh, and I got the whole lot for 25 bucks with six dollars shipping anyway there's two more roadway trailers in there There's five more roadway trailers in these two, and then there's uh, there's another Mack roadway and a flatbed roadway trailer in there, and a roadway Athern Ford C cab over, and then this baggie of crushed cars and uh, rusted barrels that goes into a gondola. Uh, yeah, so all of this stuff for 25 bucks. Um, I've been on a buying spree lately. Uh, I've been purchasing both HO scale and N scale stuff. I'll pick up the truck that fell so I don't roll over it. Uh, I purchased this Atlas uh, 840BW. Um, no sound. I'm gonna put sound in it. But it's absolutely beautiful detail. <laughs> I love it. It's my first uh, Atlas HO scale engine. I've had many in N scale. Um, and then uh, something really cool happened. I, uh, I purchased some freight cars from a friend. Um, he's not on YouTube anymore, but he's on Facebook. Jim Samsula. I purchased this car from him. It's a HO scale Intermountain Milwaukee Road Ribside box car. Beautiful car. Um, I paid 30 bucks for it from Jim, which that's a very generous price for anybody who knows that Intermountain is pretty nice. And that's uh, with shipping. Uh, he didn't charge me any shipping. Um, but the thing is, is he sent me some other stuff. 
He sent me this B&N box car from Proto 2000, and uh, it's it's a beautiful car. And then he sent me this uh, in scale Athern Southern Pacific caboose. These are super hard to find. Uh, it needs some work on the end railings. Um, you can see that. Not bad at all, though. I can easily fix that. Um, but he sent me he sent me the B&N box car in this for nothing. Uh, I opened the box and uh, <coughs> I'm not a uh, <laughs> I'm a sentimental guy, but I'm not really a crier. Uh, I have uh, I've been married for 20 years, and I have a, a 19 year old daughter who's graduated from high school. And, uh, you know, so I've been around a little while. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. Uh, but i got to tell you, having true friends that, uh, that do things for you, that uh, they show that they care, <laughs> it's just so important to have friends like that. And uh, I really, really, really appreciate you, Jim. Uh, you're an awesome guy. Uh, you've been there for me when, you know, I've had, <laughs> you know, rough times, down times, uh, I, just, I was just happening to have a bad day, the day that the package came, it came yesterday, and, uh, when I opened it, I was just expecting the one car, and there was a note on top of it, and, uh, I read it, and I'm like, well, what, what do you mean? Oh, oh, I see there's, m what the heck is that? But, uh, yeah, I, I know he said not to pay him back, but he's going to find an awesome model in the mail. <laughs> so anyway, I got some other things. I got this, um, this uh, Amtrak baggage and a Santa Fe, uh, I think it's a coach. I got a diner car, but it didn't come today. Um, I got them for 20 bucks a piece. Uh, they'll be definitely re-lettered or repainted. This, I'll just take the uh, Amtrak markings off. I don't want to see Amtrak on the Rock Island now, do we? Although, in 1978, you would see this paint scheme on the Rock Rails. But I don't want it. I want to repaint it for Rock and uh, re-letter the Santa Fe car for the Rock. Uh, they're actually very detailed cars. You're going to see them uh, probably soon. Um, I started a while back collecting cars for a TUFC train. And I have uh, six here and several more on the way. And I think three out in the shop. Um, but anyway, I have all kinds of stuff that I'm I'm working on. Uh, there's some other new cars that I'll show. Uh, <laughs> I can't show everything. There's just tons of stuff, tons of decals. I didn't pay a lot for it because I've been finding deals. These roadway trucks. If you haven't been following uh, the values anywhere in the market. Um, these roadway max in HO scale at least they go for about 70 bucks and they must be selling because they're turning over on eBay I wouldn't pay that I would never pay 70 bucks for an HO scale truck with a trailer or just a truck period um, but these these little uh, these little gems are hard to get a hold of um, I know that you know most of them don't fit the era of my layout in 78 but um, there's some atlases in there of the LNT 9000s and of course the trailers the trailers alone for a two pack is like 30 bucks just for two um, I have a secret uh, reveal coming up of a build video and it is um, how to custom modify and uh, decal paint weather a cab over truck into a day cab in N scale. I did one in HO. I didn't show it on the channel. Um, 
I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek right now of what that uh, truck looks like. So that was the HO scale version, and that is a, a SEA truck. The N scale one's not going to be a SEA. Uh, it's going to be something else. And uh, I will cut a cab in half and convert it to a day cab. Uh, there, are, there are no day cab Freightliners available on the market. The Concorde models like this one here, they're kind of goofy. The fuel tanks stick out way too wide. There's fender wells on them. Um, you know, they're just, eh. They're okay, but, you know, dressing them up a little bit is always better. I have a few of those that I got from another lot with a bunch of junk um, a while back, so I've been messing with those. Um, but, yeah, these these uh, these trucks, that was a heck of a deal for 25 bucks. It was 31 technically, if you count the shipping. Um, but uh, I got a lot going on. This will be a project later on. This is the Alco RS3. I'll be taking the shell off and chopping up a shell of an Alco RS11 and converting it to the very first done and end scale, at least I think, uh, Alco C415 center cab switcher for the Rock Island. I'm planning on doing model uh, number 424, uh, which was uh, a dark maroon brown with the yellow ends. Um, I I have a lot of projects going on. I know the desk is a mess. Uh, a lot of it is stuff I just put out to film. But uh, I found a bunch of small drill bits from Wathers uh, 75s and smaller. Uh, A-line chains for uh, future projects. Um, Grant line. Oh no no no! These are the showcase miniature mirrors for the semi trucks. Where's the Grantline stuff? Uh, I don't know where the grab bag is, but I got a big grab bag of windows and doors. Here's some doors from Grant or windows from Grantline that I'll be custom building, uh, scratch building, a UD tower for the Rock Island in N scale. So that'll be interesting. Um, I've also stripped my E8s, and uh, you know you can see that the lettering is off there, the number boards. I've added the uh, second headlight in there. Uh, these came with one headlight and the Rock has two. I have two of these, both stripped. One will be um, maroon with a silverish white color. And the other one will be, uh, I'm thinking bright red with the big Rock uh, white logos on the side. Then I have a uh, another U25B that's in parts. It's getting ready to be stripped for paint. Um, I just have a lot of stuff going on right now. I got this box of uh, Atherin Cabovers that I've been messing with. Um, and I have more. I have another one here that I'm working on with A-Line wheels. Uh, I just ordered probably, well, I don't know, maybe 15 more sets of decals. Uh, Gordon trucking, trailers of all sorts, end scale trailers and trucks, which uh, the end scale truck will be part of one of this build. Maybe not this exact trailer, but one of them. Um, you know, and then sheets of brick, and sheets of diamond step plating, an HO scale. Uh, I've got sound decoders ready to be installed is the Digitrax SDH-166D which is going to go into a GP60M uh, well I've got like six other freight car projects and semi truck projects and you know, just all kinds of stuff I got the uh, treadway uh, through Plano these are for the Husky stack cars buck 95 you can get these I bought two you can see it's got the uh, stepway in there. I cut those up and put them on the backs of my semi-trucks and all kinds of stuff. I use them for the end platforms for my uh, HO scale cars. Um, 
you know, and then there's other projects that I'm kind of hiding you know like that um, but a lot of stuff is going to end up making it to my Flickr page and my eBay or not my eBay my uh, my Facebook page uh, a lot of it probably won't make it to the YouTube channel just because I have so much going on right now um, I am planning on doing a build series on the Alco 415 um, I've got a lot of stuff going on a lot a lot of stuff a lot of I-beam and H column for a bridge I'm getting ready to build the uh, lift bridge over the Des Plaines River uh, for the Rock Island I'm gonna build that um, a lot of it is not gonna make it to the YouTube channel I'm sorry um, mainly because there's just so much to do I've got good weather um, not in great health but I'm feeling a lot better than I was and uh, I've been working a lot outside I don't know why the weather's so great it's Central Oregon it should be it should be really bad right now but the Sun is out and it's 60 degrees so uh, anyway um, that's what's been going on this is kinda like a little uh, goody update of what I found what I got what I bought what people gave me uh, again I want to say thank you very much to Jim uh, good friends are hard to come by if you come by them keep them do everything you can to to keep that friendship because it's worth it um, so anyway this has probably gone on long enough uh, see you guys take care and I'll see you next time